Hey guys, welcome back to Quick Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. And make sure to stick at the end of the problem, where I have three bonus problems that are similar to this one, which you guys can try to solve. Alright, so I have 3 to the power of x plus 1 is equal to 12. So I'm going to find the value of x here. So for my solution, first start with 3 to the power of x plus 1 is equal to 12. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, 3 to the power of x plus 1, we can write this as 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of 1. Now this is equal to 12. Now 12, this is the same thing as 3 times 4. So now I have 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of 1 is equal to 3 times 4. So now 3 to the power of 1, that's the same thing as 3. So I have 3 to the power of x times 3 is equal to 3 times 4. So now these two 3s can simply cancel out. And now I'll be left with 3 to the power of x is equal to 4. So now this 4, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 2. So now I have 3 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 2. Now to solve this, I'm going to first take the log on both sides. So now I have log 3 to the power of x is equal to log 2 to the power of 2. So if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can actually move this exponent b to the front of the logarithm. So this is going to equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log 3 to the power of x and log 2 to the power of 2. I can move this x to the front, and I can move this 2 to the front. So now I have x times log 3 is equal to 2 times log 2. Now if I divide both sides by log 3, these two cancel out. Now I'm left with x is equal to 2 times log 2 over log 3. Now the value of log 2 is equal to 0 0.3. 301 and log 3 this is equal to 0 0.4771 so I've now if I plug these values in into our equation here get x is equal to 2 times 0 0.301 over log 3 which is 0 0.4771 now, 2 times 0 0.301, that's equal to 0 0.602. So I have this over 0 0.4771. And if I divide these two, 0 0.602 divided by 0 0.4771, this is equal to approximately 1.26. So x is equal to 1.26. All right, so I have a plus 2ab plus b is equal to 9. So I want to find the value of a plus b. So for my solution, first start with a plus 2ab plus b is equal to 9. Now I'm actually going to multiply both sides by 2. So now I have a plus 2ab plus b times 2 is equal to 9 times 2. Now for 2 times a plus 2ab plus b, I'm going to distribute the 2. So 2 times a, that's 2a, plus 2 times 2ab is 4ab, plus 2 times b, that's 2b. And now 9 times 2, that's 18.
Now, from 2a plus 4ab, I can actually factor out 2a. So now I have 2a times, well, 2a divided by 2a is 1, plus 4ab divided by 2a, 4a divided by 2a is simply 2, and then all that's left is b, so I'm left with 2b. So I have 2a times 1 plus 2b, and then we can't forget our plus 2b at the end. This is equal to 18. Now, I'm going to go ahead and add 1 on both sides. So now I have 2a times 1 plus 2b plus 2b plus 1 is equal to 18 plus 1, which is 19. Now, 2b plus 1, we can rewrite as 1 times 1 plus 2b. So now, if I factor out 1 plus 2b from here, I get 1 plus 2b times, all that's left is 2a plus 1. And this is equal to 19. So now, as you can see, all three of these are going to be odd, because 2 times any number is going to be even, and an even number plus 1 is going to be odd. So same goes with 2a and 2b. So this is odd, this is odd, and 19 is also odd. So now, if I set 1 plus 2b equal to 1, then this means that 2a plus 1 has to equal 19, because 1 times 19 is equal to 19. So now if I set 2a plus 1 equal 19, now, now I can simply solve for b and a. So let's first start with 1 plus 2b. So I have 1 plus 2b is equal to 1. I'm going to first cancel these 2's out. So I have 2b is equal to 0, meaning b is equal to 0. So this is the value of b. Now for 2a plus 1 equals 19, I can simply subtract 1 on both sides. These two cancel out. So I'm left with 2a equals 18. Now if I divide both sides by 2, I'm left with a is equal to 9. So the value of b is 0, and the value of a is 9. So b, now we need to find the value of a plus b. Well, if we know that b is 0 and a is 9, well, 9 plus 0, that's simply equal to 9, meaning a plus b is equal to 9. So this is my answer.